Okay, it's Saturday, I've just come home from work, I'm Chronix, and this is Labyrinth Zone, or as I like to call it, the Bane of Sonic 1. This is the first water level, and I hate this level. I've had to turn into a two-parter because I get lost. Yes, I get lost. Not in this part, I get lost in the next part. And I can't believe it, it just took me forever. I tried so hard to keep this video under 10 minutes, but it would not do it. So, anyway, I thought I'd take this opportunity to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I'm 28, I'm from Derby in England, and I am a chef. And I also enjoy retro games. Uh, it all started for me in the year of 1992. Uh, I came home from school one day to find my mum playing Sonic on the TV on my first ever home console, the Mega Drive. And I never stopped playing. Much to the disapproval of, uh, of my dad who told me to get a job. Um, <laughs> well, not yet, I was still a kid back then. Um, but yeah, and I love uh, the old games, uh, the snares. Uh, I never had a SNES until I was like in my teens and I had a little job and I, I bought it second hand. Uh, when I, I always had the Mega Drive growing up, it was my favourite, I loved it to pieces. Um, yeah. So, Labyrinth Zone, lots of spikes, lots of water. Uh, you need to keep yourself uh, up with air, so you grab these little air bubbles and if you do not, you will die. And it gets very hard later on, which you will probably see in a bit. So yeah, back to me and kind of really how I got involved in um, uh, Slate's channel and uh, gaming for a cause and all the work he's doing for special effects. Um, basically one morning um, I got a call uh, from him saying that he was doing this. Um, he was uh, looking for a retro uh, gamer for Sundays. And wanted but I wondered if I could do it and I just I jumped at the chance. I uh, just thought it'd be nice to actually do something and you know hats off to the guy he's dedicating quite a lot of his time to this channel. Um, you know really good guy he's a really great dad as well. Um, and yeah so that's kind of how I got involved. Um, I am my brother is going out with his girlfriend's sister. Um, so yeah uh, all connected in some way. Um, yeah, uh, the Mega Drive wasn't my only source of gaming. Um, back in the old days, we had an Atari ST before the days of Windows, and on there we had games like Dick Tracy and Ghostbusters 2, which was a complete pain in the ass. I could not get past the level in the sewer because always this hand came out and it just dropped me and died. And, oh, I'm going to experience my first rage quit um, at the tender age of. Um, Eight or something like that. Uh, it, it was annoying as hell. Um, yeah, uh, the Mega Drive has always been my favourite console. Um, I, I just I love re retro gaming. Um, I, I find that these are games that I can just pick up and play at any time. I don't have to worry about achievements or good endings, bad endings, or, or anything like that. The, the, these are games for me, and I love them to pieces. <sighs> um, I do play modern games. Um, I have uh, 360 uh, and a PS3. Um, I have a Wii, which I've uh, pretty much hacked to death. Uh, and it's now got all my uh, retro games on it and things like that. Um, not sure, seriously, about the next generation, the whole Xbox One pre-owned games thing. Ugh. I'm, I, and if the PlayStation 4 goes that way, to get this generation altogether. Seriously, it's, it's getting that bad. Um, I might get a Wii U, um, just for the simple case that I'm a massive Sonic fan and you know, Nintendo have now gone. Um, sorry, Sonic is now exclusively Nintendo now, so that'll be interesting to see what comes out of there. Uh, I play RPGs, uh, old, old style RPGs like uh, Final Fantasy, um, I, eight, um, 8 and 9. Uh, I probably play quite a lot. Um, Seven is is awesome, but I, I played it to death. Uh, I like I like games like Pokemon. Uh, they just it, nice little 
the relaxer for me. The the fighting of small animals just seems to relax me in some way. Think of me what you will from that. Uh, yeah, uh, favorite game of all time? Uh, probably uh, Sonic 3. Uh, sorry, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Yeah, is is fantastic. Um, Right, we're coming up to the end of the level now, so I will sh shut up, and I will see you next week with part two of Labyrinth Zone. See ya!